added another network card here it would actually would be uh, receiving another actually we have to configure another IP address for it namely 1942253317 the IP address uh, IP address of the other machines has remained the same okay and but the only um, difference that we have here is that we've got this computer has two network cards and it has two different IP addresses associated with each of the network cards and since it already has this computer since it already has uh, connectivity to this network and also connectivity to this network would we'll be able to create a bridge here okay so right now actually I've created I've got three machines running three workstations running for this one this is my client 3 this is my client 1 and this is my client 2 okay so actually what I did is that I um, took the three uh, the client 3 here and I installed another network interface card on it another network card on it and then I gave it two IP addresses and we're not going to talk about this one yeah, just leave it alone as soon as as soon as this one has connectivity to this one and one has connectivity to client 2 it would have also have connectivity to this one because they're on the same network okay so let's clear this out a little bit again this is client 3, this is client 1, and this is client 2. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the um, computers that we have right now. So, right now, we haven't created a bridge yet. Okay, but as we said, this computer should be able to ping this computer, should have connectivity to it. This computer should be able to have connectivity to this computer, but yet we don't have created a bridge. So connectivity over this computer shouldn't be possible for example one shouldn't be able to connect to um, client 2 so let's take a look at our computers you might want to write these IP addresses down so you won't get confused okay so first of all let's this is our computer that is going to be acting as a bridge let's go to start run CMD and check the IP configuration of this computer IP config enter okay as you see here we've got two IP addresses 1942257 and 13 two different network connections that are connected to the other computers okay so let's go back to our um, image that we have we had okay we've got a 13 let's clear this out a little bit we've got a 13 and we've got a 17 okay let's check if we're able to connect from client to to um, client 3 and ping this IP address 17 we have to be able to this is a this should be possible but we shouldn't be possible to connect to 13 okay so let's take a look here we are on client 3 let's go to client 2 okay here we're on client 2 let's close this do this again go to start run and CMD type ipconfig and press enter and as you see here we've got a uh, IP address of 1942253315 ping 1942253317 as you see we're getting replies here without a problem okay so let's go to client this time we're going to go to client 1 which is the IP address of 1942253314 we should be able to ping this IP address which has a IP address of 1942253313 okay so let's go to client 1 let's close this uh, CMD enter uh, we've got IP config and client 1 has an IP address of 1942253314 we should be able to ping 19422 sorry two two five three three dot um what was the IP address thirteen so we, we should be able to um ping thirteen and here we are we're able to ping thirteen but um let's check something else let's see if we're able to ping from fourteen all the way around to seventeen okay to this IP address this shouldn't be possible let's go ahead and see if it works 17 
Okay, it's not working and in a second it's going to be giving us a request time and as you see here it did. Okay, the same would be happening from client 2 when I'm going to actually ping from client 2 to our IP address one night to the other side of the, that computer that is connected to. See for here, um, from client 2 I'm going to ping all the way to here. Okay, to here, from here to here got so messy from here it was possible okay but from here to here it is impossible let's see if it works let's see if it don't works doesn't work okay as you see here again we're not getting response so request timeout okay make sure that you've turned off your windows firewalls and right now i'm on a windows xp corporate because it doesn't have any service packs on it so uh, actually I don't have any Windows firewall but if you have a Windows firewall just make sure you have turned them off okay couple of things uh, let's go to right now to client 3 and this is going to be our bridge connection so um, before we're going to actually go to through the bridge connection a couple of things that you have to know before you create the bridge first of all the computer that is going to be the bridge has to has has to have connection to both of the networks okay so for exa for example here when you go to my network places click properties we have two local area connections two network uh, ethernet network cards which have um, enabled us to connect to both of the networks okay on the other hand um, the neck the the whole connectivity as we just saw should be up and running without a problem when we're going to create the bridge this computer that we're right now we're going to create it as a bridge convert it to a bridge should have connectivity and um, the other network like the um, the network on the right here should have connectivity between it this network should have connectivity between all of the computers that are connected and so on so make sure you already have connectivity if you don't know how to actually configure the IP addresses and so on we've actually um,